Welcome. Today we will be reading or discussing my thoughts on the daily readings for September 27th in both A Little Time for Myself and Courage to Change. This is my first time filming this new format kind of way, so please let me know your uh, thoughts and ideas. And of course, the more I do it, the more I'll feel comfortable in how to do it. But uh, the best way for me has always been to just jump right in. So that's what I'm doing. So we'll begin with the serenity prayer and three mindful breaths. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. I'm going to begin with a little time for myself. So I'm going to take a minute or so to read the page. And several of you commented that you usually read along with me in your own copy. So, so I'm going to read now to myself. So the question of the day is, in what ways do I practice patience with myself and my recovery? And it's a daily practice. I think that there are so many ways that I have improved as far as not going directly to the worst possible outcome of something. <laughs> Rather, I am practicing, and the more I practice, the more it becomes a habit of pausing, praying for help, considering my options in a situation that seems really negative at the time. So that's been a really important part of my recovery because I have a really active imagination and it always surprises me how quickly I can think of the most horrific outcome. And I'm pretty sure it was in one of our readings fairly recently that said that the, the good is just as likely to happen as the bad. So why, fo why focus on the bad when I can focus on the good? And... That has helped me. I love awareness, acceptance, and action. I love the order of it. It reminds me that
even though I may want to take action immediately because I don't want to feel the uncomfortable feelings or I don't want to have unfinished business lurking over me invisibly somehow. I need to go through the steps of being aware, getting all the information that I can, accepting what I find, and then determining what action is best. And I think what helps me to be patient in all of it is talking with people I trust, talking with my Al-Anon friends, talking with my sponsor, going to meetings, reading my literature, because I need constant reminders. It always, well, it repeatedly amazes me how quickly I can go right back to self-doubt. And I have seen others experience this in a very similar way that I experience it, but I also feel like there are people, like people even really close with me, who don't experience the same amount of self-doubt that I do. But then again, isn't it really hard to know? Because I probably only verbalize a small percentage of the self-doubt that I feel. Most of it is all internal, right? So what I said just now was really not completely valid because there's no way I can know if another person is feeling self-doubt within themselves. I would say the other thing that I'm thinking about is that I just stick with it. I practice patience with myself and my recovery by just sticking with it, taking one step at a time, one day at a time, one minute at a time, one moment, one breath. And that's how, that's how I practice patience with myself and my recovery. In what ways do you practice patience with yourself and your recovery? It's a good page. So now... I'm going to move over to the time and true classic, Courage to Change, September 27th. This doesn't have any markings on it for me, and I'm going to read it now to myself. And I love this page. Just for today, uh, the quote is from Just for Today, and we have the bookmarks Just for Tonight. There's one, I believe, that's called Just for Today. I think I have it somewhere. And part of today's reminder it says, <clears throat> Just for Today, I will know that I'm in good hands. And I like the part that says, 
I don't know what tomorrow will bring. I'm probably better off not knowing. How many times have I worried about something, built it up, built it up, built it up, then gone through it, and it was absolutely fine. And there's always been a small part of me that thinks it's because I worried and because I did whatever I did to prepare that everything turned out okay. Which may be true in some of the circumstances, but there are other times when something will happen spontaneously. <clears throat> Excuse me, I won't be able to plan for it. And I'll just handle it. And I'll think to myself, it's a good thing I didn't know that was coming because I would have would have worried about it from the second I knew it was going to happen. And I just avoided all that worry. And I just handled it the best I could. I did the best with what I had, and I made it work. <coughs> Excuse me. It's the most gorgeous day today, but I have, um, like... Itchiness. I think it's the um, the change of seasons, possibly. It could also be my scratchy throat, but I don't think so. We're babysitting. We're puppy sitting. We're puppy sitting right now. There is a puppy. A five-month-old puppy. Now that I've told you, I've got to show you, right? Of course I do. I'm not evil. <laughs> Hold on, let me get her. <laughs> this is Daisy. She's five months old. She's six pounds. She's so sweet. Oh my goodness. She's so sweet. I love her. She kisses me. She kisses me all the time. Sometimes she bites my ear. It's very sweet. Oh my, look at her. Oh my gosh. She's just the sweetest little baby. Mm. Oh my gosh. She's so warm and snuggly. Okay. Such a good girl. Such a good girl. All right. I'm going to put her back so she can continue napping. Just so you know, I didn't wake her up. She was already awake. That's why I heard her in the first place, because she was rolling onto one of her little toys, and it made a crinkling sound. So... I think I'll close out with the serenity prayer and three mindful breaths. Here we go. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. I don't know if you can hear my partner telling the marvelous Mr. Mittens, just giving him words of, of validation and acknowledgement because he's been wonderful, wonderfully patient with the puppy in the house the last few days. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Sending you love. Take care.